Ahoy! Captain Benzie here, coming at you with a new Acting on Instinct. Before we begin, I have some exciting news. I am now officially an EA Game Changer. I'm not paid or sponsored by EA, and I main full creative control of my videos and blog. They're just supporting me with assets and content. Now as you can imagine, I'm pretty tarned excited by this, as I get to make my content the best it can be, while still maintaining full creative control. Anyways, with that out of the way, let's get started on this video. Now in this video we're going to be looking at starting out with the Brotherhood of Nod. If you haven't already, check out the GDI video before watching this, as I'll reference that one a few times. I'll put the link in the description below. Much like with the GDI, your first few battles will only be against other Nod players, just to really help nail in how each unit works. This deck is designed to use only the units you're guaranteed to have by the time you reach Iron League 1. You may find as you progress that you prefer to swap certain units out for others, but this deck could take you most of the way to Tiberium League. Nod tends to be faster, but more fragile than the GDI, and plays more aggressively because of it. To start with, in this deck we have Militants for scouting, just like the GDI had Riflemen. But we then have two options in the barracks to counter whatever you spot. Laser troops, like their missile squad counterparts, can be built to counter an early rush from pit bulls and not attack bikes, and flame troopers are available to torch any infantry your opponent sends your way. With a bit more Tiberium, we can build the war factory for some attack bikes of our own. These, like the pit bull, are great at taking out air units and light vehicles but cannot move and shoot. I'd recommend moving them in, letting them fire a volley, then pulling them back to safety. They're great for putting the pressure on enemy harvesters too, which will force your opponent to respond with tanks, which you can take out with your laser squads, or missile squads, which your flame troopers can roast. Then we have scorpion tanks for some heavier armor of our own. Scorpion tanks, like the GDI Predator, can move and shoot as they have the Raider ability. However, they are slightly more fragile than the GDI equivalent, but are faster moving, so use this to your advantage and keep them mobile. Make it harder for your opponent to destroy them. Lastly, we have the Cyborgs in the Temple of Nod, which will wreck enemy heavy armor, like tanks and titans, and aircraft. They're similar to Zone Troopers in usage, but they don't have the heal. Instead, their attacks also slow the vehicles they hit. Just watch out for enemy infantry. Set's Drill Pod ability has a couple of really powerful uses too. You can use it to block enemy infantry advances, like if they're chasing your tanks, and roast them. But Flame Troopers also do decent direct damage to enemy structures, like their base. You can pull the Drill Pod up behind enemy lines and attack their base direct, which will force your opponent to react and pull units away from the front lines and the missile pads to respond. The drill pod is also a fantastic way to get a unit onto a distant missile pad at the last moment. Personally, I like to use drill pods to get flame troops right where they can torch enemy missile or laser squads that have come out to counter my tanks. Now like the GDI deck, most of the units in this build are fairly cheap so it's unlikely that you'll need to build a second harvester at all, but if you do, it should be around about the time that the first missile goes off. Focus on securing the pads. Protect your harvester if you need to, and take theirs out if you can. That's really about all there is to this deck. Feel free to try swapping units in if you find your opponents are running decks you have difficulty with, or if you happen to get some really powerful alternatives. If you're really struggling, do be sure to check out my Intel Report series. Find the unit you're struggling against, and learn how to counter it. Good luck, happy sailing, and see you on the battlefield. <laughs> 